Long Beach has recently witnessed a significant tuberculosis or TB outbreak, causing alarm among public health officials and the community. Tuberculosis, a highly infectious disease primarily affecting the lungs, has long been under control in developed nations. However, this recent surge highlights potential vulnerabilities in our public health systems. The city's health department has been quick to respond, initiating immediate testing and contact tracing efforts. Despite these measures, the rapid spread has overwhelmed local health resources, demonstrating the aggressive nature of the disease. Public concern is growing as more cases are confirmed, underlining the urgency of effective intervention. The community reaction has been a mix of fear and confusion, with many people unsure about how to protect themselves and their families. Misinformation has spread on social media, complicating efforts by health authorities to manage the situation. The need for clear, accurate public health communication has never been more apparent. Tuberculosis is caused by the bacterium Mycobacterium tuberculosis. It spreads through the air when an infected person coughs or sneezes, making it highly contagious in crowded environments. While TB can be deadly, it is preventable and treatable with a course of antibiotics. Globally, TB remains a major health challenge, particularly in densely populated cities and areas with poor healthcare infrastructure. Recent trends have shown a decline in TB cases worldwide thanks to improved healthcare practices and vaccination efforts. However, outbreaks like the one in Long Beach remind us of the disease's persistent threat. In the United States, TB has been largely contained due to stringent public health policies and effective medical treatments. However, the emergence of drug-resistant strains and gaps in healthcare coverage pose ongoing risks. The Long Beach outbreak serves as a wake-up call to address these vulnerabilities. As of the latest reports, the Long Beach TB outbreak has resulted in over 50 confirmed cases, with several patients requiring hospitalization. The majority of these cases have emerged from densely populated areas, highlighting the challenges in managing infectious diseases in urban settings. The local hospitals have seen a range of TB manifestations, from mild to severe. Health professionals are particularly concerned about cases involving drug-resistant TB, which are harder to treat and contain. This has led to a renewed focus on developing and distributing more effective TB medications. Efforts to contain the outbreak have included widespread testing and the establishment of isolation units for severe cases. Public health officials are working tirelessly to track down and test individuals who may have been exposed in an effort to halt further spread. Section 4. Factors Contributing to the Spread in Long Beach Several factors have contributed to the rapid spread of TB in Long Beach. High population density and inadequate ventilation in many buildings have facilitated the airborne transmission of the disease. These structural issues are common in many urban environments and pose significant challenges for disease containment. Socioeconomic disparities also play a critical role. Vulnerable populations, including the homeless and those with limited access to health care, are at greater risk. These groups often face barriers to receiving timely diagnosis and treatment, which can allow TB to spread more widely before it is controlled. Public transportation systems and large public gatherings have also been identified as hotspots for transmission. The mobility of the population means that a single infected individual can expose a large number of people, making public awareness and preventive measures crucial. Section 5. Strategies for Prevention and Control To prevent future outbreaks, Long Beach and other cities must enhance their public health infrastructures. This includes investing in better ventilation systems in public and private buildings, increasing access to health care, and ensuring that vulnerable populations receive the support they need. Education campaigns are essential to inform the public about TB symptoms and prevention techniques. These should be culturally sensitive and available in multiple languages to reach all segments of the community. Additionally, routine screenings in high-risk areas can help detect cases earlier. Improving the tracking and management of TB cases through better data systems will also play a crucial role. Digital health technologies can aid in monitoring disease spread and evaluating the effectiveness of interventions. This approach can provide real-time insights that are critical during an outbreak. Section 6. Conclusion, The Path Forward 
The tuberculosis outbreak in Long Beach is a stark reminder of the ongoing challenges in controlling infectious diseases. It underscores the need for vigilance, robust public health strategies, and community engagement to prevent similar crises in the future. As we move forward, it is crucial that lessons learned from this outbreak guide policy and practice improvements. Strengthening public health systems to handle outbreaks efficiently and equitably will be essential. This includes not only better disease surveillance and response capabilities, but also addressing the underlying social determinants of health that contribute to disease spread. With concerted effort and investment, we can safeguard our communities against the threat of tuberculosis and other infectious diseases. The commitment to public health readiness and community education will determine our success in managing future health crises. By fostering a well-informed public and a well-equipped health system, we can face these challenges with confidence and resilience.